<gasps> oh, f my light just turned off. Oh my god. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be watching The Last of Us, episode six. Now, the last episode, the last episode broke my heart again. It seems like every other episode, we're just going to get a super emotionally devastating episode now. So since the last episode was emotionally devastating, this episode, I mean, shit, it could be just, it could be because they do such a fantastic job of developing characters so damn quickly. I wouldn't be surprised, but I feel like this is going to kind of establish what's happening now because, you know, Joel and Ellie, I have no idea what they're going to go and do. Well, they're still trying to get to Wyoming, but like, I have no idea what could happen along the way. I'm kind of expecting this episode to set up the next one for, for it to emotionally destroy us again. So, so yeah. I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full-length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon. Let's get started. Give me the gun, Henry. Give me the gun. Henry, no! Mm. Okay, we're in the mountains now. And the gun. Mm, oh. Take the gun out, two fingers only. Put it out of reach. Why did you shoot him? The gun's all the way over there. <laughs> he didn't hurt me, by the way. You made him soup? Yeah, I did. Hold up. Great hospitality. <laughs> oh, I ain't seen him. I haven't told you what he looks like. <laughs> need you to tell us where we are. If you got a map, why are you lost? You must have missed all the street signs in the enormous fucking forest. <laughs> <laughs> I love her sarcasm. <laughs> and your answer better be the same as your wife's. Do you tell him the truth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you found it's a great place to hide, I guess. I came here before you were born, Sonny. The hell away from everybody. I didn't want to. I love the honesty by the wife. <laughs> Anywhere people used to be, you can't go there no more. So you haven't heard the name Tommy? Nope. What about the fireflies? We get those in the summer. <laughs> there are firefly people? <laughs> yeah, they're so isolated, they have no idea what's going on in like the cities. The best way west? Yeah, go east. Wait, why are we going west? I thought we were going to Wyoming. Do I know where Wyoming is? Oh, I'm okay. I'm I'm dumb, dude. For some reason, I told, I totally thought Wyoming was like near Tennessee and Kentucky and like North Carolina. What the fuck? Mm, oh, what's happening? Joe, Joe, shut up. Is shit, are you dying? Is having a heart attack? It was just a reminder that you're dead, I'm fucked. Set up fine. Just the cold air. So let's go and find Tommy and, and the fireflies. It'll be easy. Yeah, okay. I thought we were going the opposite way of where Wyoming is. So I thought Wyoming was like in the southeast or whatever. But no, I would totally guess we're in Colorado if I knew where fucking Wyoming was from the very beginning. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, Montana is not even close to where I thought it was either. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I guess I didn't know where it was because I live in my own country of California. <laughs> Come down from there. You're going to break your neck. <laughs> Let's say we find the fireflies. It all works. Draw my blood and put it through some of their fancy machines and make a cure. Then what? Like, what do we do? Well, it's a we. Okay, fine. Whatever. You do anything you want. I don't know. For some reason, I always just thought like... I always just like pictured Wyoming in the south. I always like had it there in my head for like whatever reason. <laughs> whatever, I had a brain fart where, where I thought Wyoming was. It's late, okay, it's late. And what about you, where are you gonna go? It's probably because I grew up in the QZ. Behind you, there's ocean and ahead of you. Mm, the Aurora Borealis. I wanna see that with my own eyes. That's a life goal. Tried what? I knew he was infected. I rubbed some of my blood into his bite. I know, I know, it was stupid, but I've... It's a good try. Like, what else could you, you know, rather I'm try than... Him. Yeah, you'd rather try than do nothing. Because what if the off chance it did work? Well, then, you know... Marlene, she's a lot of things, but she's no fool. Still mumbling in your sleep. The river of death. Still no people. I'm learning how to whistle. You don't know how to whistle? Does it sound like I know how to whistle? Dude, my dad can do that so loud. It's so annoying when he does it right next to me, though, because it, it pierces my ears every time he does it, like, right next to me. Look at that river. It's crazy blue. Hey, Joel. 
What if this is the river of death? Probably is. <gasps> oh, fuck. We ain't looking for any trouble. We're just passing through. Take five steps back. How about we just talk this through? How about you shut the fuck up? Okay, easy. You've been near infected? There's no infected out here. The hell there ain't. If you're infected, he will smell it and he will rip you up. She's a bit though, but it's not... It's not affecting her, but is the dog gonna smell it? Oh, dog smells it. Fuck, what do you do? <laughs> oh. oh, okay, they're good, they're good. Okay, bro, why does show have to do us like that? Come on. Just looking for my brother. It's all, nothing more. Does she know him? What's her name? Joel. She know a guy named Tommy looking for his brother named Joel? Hmm. I'm guessing that's the case. Yep, they're taking us back. That's hella cool how they have horses now. It's like the it's like the Wild West all over again, you know? We gotta be we gotta go back to those times. This feels like Red Dead Redemption now. <laughs> yeah, literally. We got a nice little town here. Bro, the view of the mountains in the back, that's so cool. That's such a nice view, dude. Tommy! <gasps> oh! We found him! <laughs> <laughs> we did it. What the fuck you doing here? I came here to save you. All right, so next episode, Tommy's for sure gonna die. Okay, got it. <laughs> That's how they're gonna get us again. What? What's wrong with you? What about yeah, what her manners? She was just- uh, Ellie. Kids around here don't usually look or talk like you. Right. Well, maybe I'll teach them. Bro, what? Is she serious? And I want my gun back. They also Jesus. aren't armed. I think maybe y'all got a little off on the wrong foot. Who's gonna have her guys kill us? Well, we gotta be real careful about who we let in this place. Yeah. They say that you leave dead bodies around? Those are the people who tried us. We're grateful for your hospitality and all, but it'd be nice to have a moment here maybe just for family. Well, uh, Maria is uh, family, actually. Oh shit, congrats. And headshot those fuckers from a half mile out. Can you teach me how? No, we can't. <laughs> Ship, multi-faith, school, laundry. You draw power from a dam. Got that working a couple years ago. Hmm. Lights, this place actually fucking works. Mm-hmm. Dude, I would love to kick it here in like this world, this situation. I find this place and they let me in, I'm accepted. I'm ch I'm never fucking leaving. Everything you see in our town, greenhouses, livestock, all shared. It's a nice community. So, uh, communism. Nah, I didn't like that. I mean, it is that, literally. This is a commune. We're communists. Yeah, I mean, I guess it works when you have, when you only have 300 people who are just trying to survive. Like they all want the same thing. None of them want more than the next person. So they're all just happy to be alive, you know? They're happy with what they have. Thanks for still giving a shit about me. So how's Tess? Ooh. It's fine. Ooh. All right. She's the daughter of some firefly muckety muck trying to find her family somewhere out here. So you know where they might be? You know, they got a base down at the University of Eastern Colorado. It's uh, We are in Colorado. <laughs> it's severely fucked up between here and there. Infected, raiders, it's not exactly an easy trip. Seeing as how you can headshot infected from half a mile away, which is a bunch of bullshit, by the way. Tommy's not gonna wanna go, Joe's gonna talk him into it, and that's gonna be the demise. What, cause your wife won't let you? Joel, she the one who kept you off the radio? They didn't have to take me in, but they did. And all they ask is that I follow their rules. I'm your brother. Yeah, I'm aware. They're very protective of this place. Wrong people might show up. So is that what I am? By the wrong people. Things I did, Tommy, those things that you judged me for. I did those things to keep us alive. We did those mm -hmm. things. We murdered people. If you knew the shit that I've been through, Tommy, trying to find you these last few months. I'm going to be a father. Hmm. Maria's a few months along now, so I just got to be more careful. Yeah, he's dying. To be honest, I'm scared to death. But I don't know why. I feel like I'd be a good dad. Guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. That's all you got? 
What else am I supposed to say? Congrats. Just because life stopped for you doesn't mean it has to stop for me. Okay, honestly, Maria might die, actually. That's how they're going to get us. Be out of your Tommy or Maria is going to die. Okay. As soon as Tommy said, I'm scared to be a father, that's when it clicked in my head, okay, Maria, is probably, Maria might die. Because that's going to emotionally destroy us more. <laughs> and they know it. He's having like a panic attack, I think. Oh, uh, it looks like Sarah. Yeah, she could have had her own kid by now, too. Damn. Uh huh. R.I.P. to Kevin and Sarah. Who's been cutting your hair? A world class salon. Let me get my scissors. Oh, whoa, no. I'm Trim. I like Maria. She's really nice. I'm sorry about your kids. It's okay. I'm kid. Just Kevin. Sarah was Joel's daughter. Yeah. Oh, she's learning about that, too. Well, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. No, it's okay. I guess that explains him a little. Look, I'm not going to ask you what you're doing with him. Good. But there are clearly things you don't know about Joel. Oh, like how he mm -hmm. used to kill people? I know about that. Then you understand my concern. He doesn't do that anymore. He stopped killing people? Innocent ones. And Tommy mm -hmm. did it too. Are you worried about him? Mm. Tommy was following Joel. The way you are now. Well, maybe I'm smarter than Tommy. No offense. Uh. Be careful who you put your faith in. The only people who can betray us are the ones we trust. Yeah. I feel like once Joel gets her there, he's just gonna be like, all right, fuck off. And that's gonna hurt her. So, like, that's how he's gonna, like, betray her. And she's not gonna wanna leave Joel, but he's gonna be like, no, go, go, get away from me. And that's gonna destroy her. I shouldn't have said what I said. This ride to the university, is it a suicide mission? It's dangerous. It's you can't handle You've had people go that way and come back? All of them. Mm. She's immune. What? Ellie. Infected, but she didn't get sick. Tommy. No, 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 Tommy, no, 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 Tommy, chill. That was months ago. Months. She's mm -hmm. been. Dude, Tommy's gonna tell someone. I mean, dude, Shay, it would be so hard for him to not tell someone. Oh, but he's gonna have this. He's gonna talk to him though. From the beginning. Cause you don't want to risk anything. You don't want to risk anything in this fort. Test got bit. She made me swear to take the kid. It was her dying wish. What the hell was I supposed to do? We made it as far as KC, and then, you know, she saved my life there. Five years ago, I would have destroyed him. We had to shoot him to save me because I was too slow and too fucking deaf to hear him coming. I saw a man kill his own brother to save her while I just watched. And today, I thought that dog was going to tear her apart because it smelled something on her. And all I did was stand there. I couldn't. Move. I mean, you couldn't have done it. They would have shot you. You think I can still handle things, but I'm not who I was. Lately, there are these moments where the fear comes up out of nowhere, and my heart feels like it stopped every night. What kind of dreams? I don't know. I can't remember. I just know that when I wake up, I've lost something. It's all I've ever done. It's failure again and again. Sarah, I am. You want me to take her? I'm just going to get her killed. I know it. And I have to leave her. Well, here's your chance to bring your kid into a better world. You're younger than me. You're still strong. You said it yourself. You'll come back. You have to take her. She's so attached to Joel, though. I, there's no way. You can't tell anyone. Not even Maria. Tommy, you're the only one I trust. If anyone else sees those bites on her, what's under her skin, they'll shoot her. I mean... What are the odds she lives here full time and then, you know, someone doesn't accidentally see it? Like, very low odds, I feel. Like, someone will notice eventually if she lives here full time. Wow, what an emotional, vulnerable moment would Joel. That was really nice to see. He has, like, PTSD from Sarah. He doesn't want the same thing to happen to Ellie again. He thinks he'll fail her. And it's like him not doing, like, when the dogs are sniffing them, him not doing anything is like, when him and he was holding Sarah and the military dude shot at them, like he moved, but he kind of froze there for a second, and that's why Sarah died, because she got shot because he didn't move. But I mean, it's like, what could you have really have done? In like either situation, now he's like having dreams about it too, like reliving it probably, and he's so worried about it happening to Ellie, he's dreaming of it. 
It's like your subconscious is trying to tell you, don't let this happen again, don't let this happen again. Is this really all they had to worry about? Boys, movies, deciding which shirt goes with which skirt. Yeah, it was a very simple life. Listen, uh, Why are you here? I came here to talk to you. No, why are you still here? Mm. If you're gonna ditch me, ditch me. What exactly did you hear? I made this decision for your own good. You'd be way better off with Tommy. Yeah, but I don't think she's gonna see Joel's Shit perspective about me or on not. Of course I do. Then what are you so afraid of? I'm not her, you know. <sighs> Maria told me about Sarah and... No. Yeah, don't, don't mention Sarah to Joel, dude. Don't say another word. I'm sorry about your daughter, Joel. But I have lost people, too. You have no idea what loss is. Everybody I have cared for has either died or left me. Everybody fucking except for you! Mm. So don't tell me that I'd be safe with somebody else because the truth is, I would just be more scared. Mm-hmm. You're right. You're not my daughter. And I sure as hell ain't your dad. Ah, uh, no. Now come down. We're going our separate ways. What? <laughs> Fuck. Dude, that, no. I did, yeah, you, she really heard him with the Sarah comments. But I mean, she did make a valid point how like everyone she's ever cared for is left or dead. You know, they're, they're gone now except for Joel. So it's like, yeah, she'd feel the safest with him. And anyone else she's with, she would just feel scared because she doesn't know for sure. It's like, I get that. But still, it's just uh, long term, Joel feels like he's going to fail her. You know, he's not who he used to be. She wants to go. Huh. What, is he going to make her sleep with the horses and the goats? <laughs> Kidding. You came here to say goodbye or something? No, I came here to steal one of these horses and go. Well, we gave you one. You deserve a choice. I still think mm. you'd be better off with Tommy. Let's go. Oh, yep. <laughs> she didn't think twice about that. <laughs> she didn't even hesitate. There's a place for you here. Both of you. Adios, big brother. Aw. Oof. Gentle, steady, nice and slow. You gonna shoot this thing or get it pregnant? <laughs> Nice. Was that how things used to be? No, the country is too big for that. Back then, there were basically two main ways of looking at things. Some people wanted to own everything, and some people didn't want anyone to own anything at all. Which one were you? Neither. I just did my job. Mm hmm. Okay, so if you mess up your fourth down, you need to give the ball. Talking about football. Right. It's called a turnover. Yep. But if you make it to 10 yards, then you're back to first down? Mm hmm. I don't know what Tommy was so afraid of. Still time to find out. Yeah. Still time to find out. We're gonna find out. The contractor! <clears throat> yeah, as soon as we get to the city, we'll find out. Oh, we're already here. Okay, cool. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a singer. <laughs> Shut up. This is a great moment. It's gonna get ruined somehow. Are those monkeys? Must be from the old lab. Oh, wow. Bro, Caesar's probably here. Hmm. No guards. Mm hmm. Yeah. Everyone here dead? Infected now? Oh, I hope our horse doesn't die. <laughs> oh, that's kind of fucked to tie it, dude. If that horse can't get away, that horse is... Oh, maybe not. You didn't tie it. That horse could get away still. You don't want the horse to leave before you get back. You know, but like... There are definitely doctors here. <sighs> yeah, you can tell by a lab coat. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm exiting. <laughs> oh, it's the... Oh, it, that's a baboon. Oh, fuck baboons, dude. You know how fucking menacing baboons are? Yeah, what if one of them got infected? Oh, my God. That would be fucking terrifying. I mean, baboons are already t terrifying on their own, dude. With their red ass. <laughs> that's where they went. All the pins lead there. I don't know. <gasps> oh, oh, Subtalus says Raider. They probably found the horse. Oh, and they're coughing. So they they, they found the horse. Yep, they know we're in here because of the horse. 
And out the back. Great. Now I got to fight our way out. Maybe not. Maybe not. I think we will though. Dude, what if they shoot our fucking horse? I'll be so mad. I'll be so mad if they shoot the horse right now. I will be so mad. Okay. Or if we're riding away and they shoot it. Oh my god, I'll be so mad. Oh, what, oh okay, he didn't hit the horse. Ooh. There you go, there you go. Ooh. Where are the other four? Aren't there five? Oh, fuck. Holy fuck. My light just turned off. Oh my god. I didn't even feel that. I like how the show didn't reveal it until just then, you know? It's like, we didn't know, just like, Joel didn't know. They're not following us. I think we're safe. Joel? Yeah, you've probably lost a lot of blood. Joel, no, 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 oh. shit! <clears throat> Joel, open your eyes. Open your eyes. We can't fucking do this without you. Mm -hmm. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. What the fuck I'm gonna do? Joel! No, wait. What the fuck is gonna happen then? Oh, please. Okay, I know he's not dead. There's no, there's absolutely no way he's dead. There's no way. I refuse to believe it. Let's down again. No, there's no way. No, 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 there's no way he's dead. No, I, he's not dead. I'm not, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. He's not dead. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. He's not dead. I don't believe it. That's Cap. Dude, I still can't believe I didn't know where Wyoming was. Shake my head, dude. How? Shake my head. I mean, to be fair, it's a very, like, irrelevant state, if I'm being honest. But hey, but hey. I know every ocean, I know every continent, at least, okay? There's five oceans, seven continents, okay? We're gonna start with the oceans, okay? Got the Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, the Arctic Ocean, the Southern Ocean, and the Indian Ocean. Easy. Easy. I, I swear to God, I did not look them up. I know this because I always ask people, name every single ocean, and they can't. Okay, continents. North America, South America. Can I'm kidding. Not can't. No. I'm kidding. Asia, Europe, Africa, Antarctica, Australia. I swear to God, I'm not looking at my computer screen. Look, look, look at my tabs. Look, it's, a, it's my Patreon, okay? I swear to God, I did not look those up. I swear to God, I did not look them up, okay? I just know them because I always ask people, name every ocean, okay? Name every continent, and they can't do it. Okay, you know what's really fun to do? Ask your friends, do you know every single ocean? And if they can't do it, then just start naming them yourself. And then when you say Pacific Ocean, say specific ocean instead. That will fuck with them so bad. Like, do it as like your third or fourth one too. Like, just kind of like name them all. I'll do it like fast too. Like, don't pause before you say it or don't pause after. Like, make sure you know which one you're gonna say before and after. Like, and just say it super casually. And they'll be like, wait, what? You know, like, they'll stop and think, like, wait, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> you know? And you'll be like, what? What do you mean? You know, it's like when Stewie says Cool Whip in, like, Family Guy, and Brian's like, why'd you say it like that? I'm just I'm just saying it. I'm saying Cool Whip. That's how you say it. What do you mean? Just do that. That will, For some reason, my brain just put Wyoming where Kentucky is on the map. I have no idea why. I, I just had a brain fart. We started in Boston and I know where that is because of the New England Patriots. I could like point to a map where exactly where that is. But then when they said we we're in Kansas City, I was like, what? Like in my head, I was like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. You know, if like thinking if Wyoming was where I thought it was, I was like, why are we in Kansas City? Like, cause I know where Kansas City is. Like I know where that is because of the Kansas City Chiefs. It's like Missouri. It's on the border of Kansas and Missouri or whatever and so in my head i was just thinking like why did we go to kansas city like we just skipped over wyoming for like no reason but wyoming was not where i thought it was so that's why if i'm being honest but then i was like well it's probably for some reason i missed or whatever i probably didn't hear them say something like we had to take a detour or something like that and so i kind of just went with it to be honest because i was like well i missed something here like some like i'm missing something here so i'm just gonna go with it i'm not gonna question it so that's why i never said anything about it earlier so i thought we were gonna circle back who Wyoming because if it's where Kentucky is then it's right next to Missouri but no I was completely wrong it's even more west but this was a good lesson now I know where Wyoming is and I won't forget you learn something new every day I could tell you where every major state is no problem but not fucking Wyoming you know if you gave me a blank map 
of the U.S. and said, okay, where's Montana? Where's Wyoming? Where's Nebraska? Where's Iowa? Where's South Dakota? I could not, I know it's in the middle, but I couldn't fucking tell you exactly where. But if you said, where's California? Easy. Where's Oregon? Easy. Where's Washington? Easy. Where's Texas? Easy. Where's Arizona? Easy. Where's Nevada? Easy. Where's Utah? Easy. Where's Florida? Easy. Where's New York? Easy. You know, where's Michigan? Where's Wisconsin? Easy. I know like the border of it, but like, I don't know like in, in the middle, okay? And when I was naming continents, I said Canada as a joke. I swear to God, that was a joke. I did not mean that one. All right, well, but, but that was episode six of The Last of Us. I absolutely refuse to believe Joel is dead right here. And I guess I was wrong about my Tommy and Maria that they die in the next episode. I mean, the show really kind of is really trying to set it up as if they were, you know, cause it's like, Tommy's gonna have a family. Okay, cool. We're setting him up to have a nice life. All right, kill him, you know? What could probably be worse than killing Tommy? Killing his wife because he's about to have a kid. He's nervous but excited to have a kid. So we're gonna take that away from him, you know? I feel like that'd be pretty emotionally devastating to us as the viewer, you know? But I guess not. I guess they're cliffhanging us with Joel being dead right here, which I don't think he is. There's no way. Now, okay, one thing I'm kind of wondering too now is how far in the game are we? You know, like how much are they kind of skipping by in the game? Cause I feel like a lot's happened in these six episodes. I feel like within like this, this feels like this could be like half the game already. Or maybe this is like the first quarter of the game. I have no idea cause I've never played the game. So please let me know down below how much, how far are we into the game already? So that would be really interesting to know. But yeah, when Joel was about to leave and he asked like, he asked Ellie, I'll give you a choice. You no doubt in any of our heads that she was going to stay back. No doubt at all. She was always going to go with him because it's what she knows. It's what she's comfortable with. It's what she knows. But I don't know if she can actually save Joel because like, like she said herself, she doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know anything. She doesn't know where anything is. It's just like, what is she going to do? He's bleeding out. She knew to put pressure on the wound, but like that, that's really like she can't just leave him here. He's going to die. Like somebody has to come and save him or she has to find somebody who's willing to help him out. That's a bad. That's all I can think of, because I don't know, maybe Tommy goes looking for them. But why would Tommy go and look for them and try and like find them, you know, or maybe Tommy feels guilty that he like didn't go. And he's like, no, nah, I should be out there with my brother. And, you know, then he goes or something. But that would be pretty damn lucky, to be honest. I did think like, okay, well, what if Tommy's like, oh, they haven't been back in a very long time. I'm going to go look for them. Well, Joel would be dead by then. So no, that can't happen. Like I said, I highly doubt this is Joel's death. There is no, there is no possible way this is Joel's death. This would be kind of underwhelming if it was his death. Okay. This would be too underwhelming. There's no way they're teasing us. I refuse to believe it. I mean, this was a pretty emotional episode by itself with, with that scene with Joel, you know, when he was opening up to Tommy and being more vulnerable, that was very emotional. It wasn't like enough to really make me like cry, but it was very touching. It definitely, it got me in the feels. It definitely got me. But yeah, that was episode six of The Last of Us. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.